What's up, y'all? It's Materi Naughton, a.k.a. Tasha from Power. Want to make sure y'all go head over to nightanddaynetmarket.com. Get you some melanin merch, t-shirts, shoes, bags, jewelry, <laughs> anything you can think of. It's going to be dope. At the height of the East Coast West Coast beef that split hip hop and half that spare headed Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls, you could find Suge Knight's diss at 1995 Source Awards. I'd like to tell Tupac, keep his guards up. We ride with him. And one other thing I'd like to say any artist out there want to be an artist and want to stay a star and don't want to, don't want to have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the videos, all on the record, dancing, come to death row. And while there was never any doubt that Death Row's former CEO was taking a direct shot at Sean P. Diddy Combs during the rant, the Bad Boy Record CEO says that Knight told a different side to that story. During his conversation with hosts Noary and DJ EFN of the Drink Champs podcast, Diddy says Suge Knight claimed he was actually referencing the so-so deaf executive Jermaine Dupree. Diddy, that famous Source Awards speech where Suge got up there mm -hmm. and he said, uh, dancing all in the videos and all that. Did you, you thought that was you immediately or it had to hit you later? Um, I really couldn't believe it because homeboy, me and him were, were, were friends. Wow. In the you? Yeah, yeah. He would wow. pick me up from the airport. Wow. You know, I've never heard this before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we got to break some news here. He picked wow. me up from the airport the whole entire thing. And, um, mm. So it kind of had me taken back because, I, you know, I spoke to them as they were there. I just felt it was really dangerous, you know what I'm saying, the way, because the crowd was really, 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 really with me. And so then when I had that, I ran up and I asked him, and he said, nah, I was talking about Jermaine Dupree. And I was just like, yeah, I was just like. Wait, hold on. According to Diddy, the two found each other bumping elbows at the show's after party held at New York City's The Tunnel Nightclub. Just moments before seeing him there, however, Knight had used his Death Row Records platform to ignite hip-hop's most widely known rap beef, the notorious B.I.G. vs. Tupac Shakur. Philadelphia soul singer Jaguar Wright claims that Suge Knight and Diddy conspired to spark a beef between Biggie and Tupac to sell more records, which end up starting a war between the East Coast and the West Coast. Good morning. I'ma tell the truth about this nigga who all y'all worshipped, who all y'all believed, who all y'all thought, oh, P. Diddy, P. Diddy, <laughs> And y'all should probably also know about how he and Suge, Suge Knight worked together to create the whole East Coast, West Coast conflict to make y'all buy records and to make y'all choose sides. They did that on purpose. They was cool. They did business together. Puff always sent Devante, KC, JoJo, and Mary out to LA all the time. They worked at Death Row just as much as they worked um, in New York before Daddy's house was even really Daddy's house. That's why KC and JoJo had all them songs with Tupac. How do you want it? That wasn't no accident. Uh, 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 Tupac didn't call them up. They was already there. They was there partying, getting high. Puff and Shug had an arrangement, and they created that entire media campaign just to get y'all to buy records. I ain't got no love for Shug, and I ain't got no love for Puff. The only thing I'm I'm mad about. See, I was there tonight in the Shore Club, eating dinner at Nobu, the night that they shot Shug Knight in the ass, and I watched everybody be so happy. They were so happy. I was arguing with Paris Hilton in the bathroom about what a horse she was. And then we heard the shots go off. It was right there on Miami Beach. MTV, uh, it was MTV Music Awards time. I had a show, um, a yacht party, private show that I was doing. And um, yeah, I was there. I heard the shots when she, and, when, and, and I saw them roll Shug right by me. He was laying on his stomach and he was bleeding out his ass. And they was all happy. Everyone was so happy. Why ain't nobody shot you in the ass yet, Puff? Maybe it's time for you to get shot in the ass. I guarantee you, people won't laugh. Just like they did when Suge got shot. Your old friend. Your old friend, Suge Knight. 
Y'all niggas is corny. You've been living on lies, and I'm burning it all down. You're the biggest obstacle, Puff, because you hold the most secrets. You tell the most lies. Fuck, I need to worry about Mary J. Blige for you run that bitch. All I gotta do is move you around. What's up, y'all? This is Master P. And I just want to let y'all know, go to nightandgaynetmarket.com and get yourself some product. They're a black-owned company. They got everything from T-shirts to hoodies to shoes to jewelry to hair care products.